What's good everyone, MV Astro here, back at it with another motor review video. So here in front of me guys, I have the newest F-Series lineup by T-Motor, and that is the F60 and F40 Pro V3. So before I get started with the review, I'd like to of course give a huge shout out to T-Motor for always providing me with motors, ESCs, props, and even micro quads now. So anyways, and also this time they actually hooked not only myself up, but of course they hooked up set handle with uh, motors and they provided us with every single KV that they have to offer for the F60 and F40 Pro V3s and you guys know what we're definitely going to be doing with that and we're going to be running our drag race test but we are going to be doing that on a part 2 video on the part 1 I'm going to be basically going over the specs and then ending it off with a flight footage of the F40 Pro V3 motor so without much further ado let's go ahead and hop right in to the review video of the Pro V3 motor. So, alrighty, so as we can see, the packaging is exactly the same as it was on the previous V2 version. The main difference here is that it did change up here a little bit due to the fact that I don't know if I like this so much, but they only have one color available this time around. Unlike the uh, Pro V2 versions, they had the green ones, they had the gray ones, and then they had those red available this time. At least, uh, at least for the release, they're only going to be keeping it up keeping it with that gunmetal gray that we had on the Pro V2s. But anyways, I already went ahead and opened this bad boy up. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what they actually come with. And here we go, I have them right here, right next to me. So this here on my left is the F60 Pro, and this here on my right is the F40 Pro. And this is basically what they come with here. They come with their nice little prop nuts, screws, and screws for the bottom. And then we have some small little T-Motor stickers that they also provide too, but I'm not a huge fan because I don't care too much about stickers. But anyways, that is what they come with. But let's go ahead and jump into what you guys are really here for, and that is to look at the F60 Pro V3s and the F40 Pro V3 versions here. So I'm going to go ahead and be quiet here and just let you guys observe the motor here just for a little bit there. There we go, that is the F60. And now let's take a look at the F40 Pro V3s there. Aesthetically looking very, very good. And I'm gonna pull out a Pro V2 here just to compare it uh, to see the aesthetic uh, changes that they have on the new V3 versions here. So that is the F40 and F60 Pro V3s. And let's go ahead and compare the F60 Pro V2 to the new Pro V3 there. Alrighty, so here we go. On my left, I have the Pro V2, and on my right, I have the new Pro V3 version there. So, really quick, it doesn't look like a huge change there, but if we go ahead and look at the top, there is a little bit more of a change there. Uh, the one on my left here is a Pro V2. As you can see, it is a six-spoke bell there versus the Pro V3 three now is a five spoke and you can see the design is did change a little bit more it reminds me a little bit more of like the newest f80 pro uh, v2 versions that they have there they did keep that nice little grippy pad there at the top to provide some really good grip with the prop and avoid any loose props mid-air and i gotta tell you that that is actually one of my personal favorite features that t-motor did whenever they upgraded it here on the pro v2s so i'm very glad to see it back on the pro v3s and as we can see they kept the exact same magnets the same windings the same coating the same naked bottom there at the bottom still a 16 by 16 there at the bottom for the, your screw mounts so not bad at all there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit more in depth here later on the video but that right there is basically the biggest changes with the new Pro V3 series lineup but let's go ahead and go more in depth with the F60s and F40 Pro V3 so first things first guys let's go ahead and start off with some weight so First up on the scale is the F40 Pro V3. They both do have 150 millimeter uh, length wire and that is uh, good for a six inch prop. And then this is weighing in at, we are look, for the F40 Pro we are looking at 33.8 grams and that is with the wire and prop nut there. And let's go ahead and put the F60 Pro V2 on the scale now. And the same thing as the F40 Pro, the F60 Pro does have 150 millimeter 20 gauge wire. And this is weighing in at 36.0 grams. So this is slightly heavier by about two grams when comparing it to the F40 Pro V3s. And that's the weight for you guys right there. 
let's go ahead and touch a little bit more on the specs of this quad and see what's actually new for the new Pro V3 series version. So first off, let's go ahead and actually start off with the new F60 Pro V3. So first things first, I gotta say that uh, one thing I'm noticing with uh, a lot of these motor companies here is that I don't see a lot of change now. And what I mean by that is that usually like for example with the uh, uh, jumping from the Pro V1 to the Pro V2s, we saw like a huge change. We had a new enamel coating for the windings. We had, of course, a new whole be new belt design. We had that new grip design there. We had a naked bottom. And now, if we compare the old Pro V2 versions to the Pro V3s, it doesn't look like a huge change when you take a glance at it. I mean, you still have that naked bottom. You had very similar windings there. You have very similar bell. Uh, other than the five spoke and then the new different uh, concave design. So what I mean by that is if you can see this, it concaves up just a little bit more than this here. And uh, when I spoke to T-Motor about that, that was one of their primary uh, focuses for the new design here. And that is because previously, uh, not me personally, I didn't have it too much. I probably had it like on one or two motors here where the on a very, very hard crash, the bell would actually dent down and damage the coils there. I know on the Pro V1 versions, I had that a lot happen on my motors so on the v3 version they really focus on making a new belt design that way they could uh, avoid that by 100 percent but of course there may be people out there that still come by that but hey they did focus on that for the new pro v3 design but anyway i just wanted to mention that i'm not really seeing too much change at least from a glance but i observe with new uh, with motor companies whenever they bring out a new motor there's not much of a change anymore uh there's very very minor changes and it reminds me a lot about phones as well like whenever apple updates their iphone 10 to an iphone 10s and stuff there's v those very very minor changes that may make that motor a little bit better for some of those pilots but anyways let's go ahead and jump into more of the specs of the motor so so uh, first off let's go ahead and basically start off with the biggest change here i know the f, f series family seems to be a little bit hard to understand as far as the size because they do have an f60 and then they have the f40 and then they have an f80 but f60s previously were a 2207 size motor and t motor whenever i asked them what size this was they didn't really want me to say it on my video but i i i, I convinced them for me to mention it just due to the fact that i thought it was fair for people that are going to be buying this motor to know what size this is but the reason they wanted to keep that basically classified or or not have me uh, say it on the video was so competitors won't copy them or anything like that but anyway the new f60 this is where they kind of changed it up a little bit previously like i said it was a 2207 size motor but now it is a 2207.5 size motor and as well as the f40 pro previously it was a 2306 size motor but now it is a 2306.5 size motor and as far as the price goes they both will be priced at $26.99 so a little bit more on the expensive side we are going to be looking at $26.99 for the new Pro V3 series motors and as far as the windings and magnets for both of the motors they are both the N52 arc magnets there and the same thing as the Pro V2s they have that nice enamel uh, coating which increases them to about 30% in heat resistance and I gotta say from my experience with the Pro V2s I gotta say that I think I burned up like a total of about two no more than three for sure so I could definitely say that when comparing the enamel coating from the Pro V1s to now the Pro V2s and 3s I could definitely say that there is definitely an increase so I do give that a thumbs up and I like that T-Motor kept that on this oh another one of my uh, personal uh, favorite features that they kept with the v3 motors is let's get that to focus there a little bit is the nice little sticky grip here and that right there is basically for your prop uh i, I like these little teeth just due to the fact that i have never had a loose prop on my pro v2s on my pro v1s i would have loose props uh during mid flights but when they added that on the pro v2s i gotta say that i stopped having any loose props mid flight so i love that they kept that as a feature here on the new pro v3s there and as far as the kvs that are available for the f40 pro v3s uh, at least as far as the initial launch, they're only going to be keeping it for forest capabilities. So they're going to be having the 2400 and 2600 KV version for an F40 Pro V3s. And, the, and then for the F60 Pro V3s, they're having a 2500 KV and 2700 KV. I'm, I'm not too sure right now if they're going to be coming out with 6S KVs, but knowing T-Motor, the way their marketing works, they're probably most likely going to have a 6S version here later on in 2019. And like I also mentioned, uh, this gunmetal color here, the gray, is the only color available as 
right now as these motors are uh, initial for the launch. I, me, in my opinion, I don't like that too much due to the fact that uh, whenever we first received the Pro V2s, they had three available colors on launch day. They had the red color, they had a green color, and then they had the gunmetal color. So I, I don't like that. They only kept it with one color, but hey, I guess they're going to be using the more color versions for it, may, possibly the 6S KV versions there. And then as far as the bearing goes here on these, they ended up uh, using the same material there, which is the easy old bearing titanium shafts there. And then for the bottom, let's actually go ahead and take one of these uh, heads off here. Let's go ahead and take it off the the F60 Pro V2 there. So let's see. So they did add a little bit of Loctite. I felt that pop there a little bit. You could kind of see it there on the screw. And uh, let's see how hard this be uh, bell is actually to take off. And it's not hard at all. So actually, never mind. Let's take it off. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at the bell from the inside. So like I said, the bell, the um, magnets that they ended up using on the uh, motor are the same as the Pro V2s. They are the same N52 art magnets there. You can see that the bell also has that lip like the uh, Pro V2s had to avoid any magnets from slipping. One issue that I did have with the Pro V2s was that the ring that the magnets actually stick to uh, slid a little bit. I didn't have that too much like I did on the Pro V1s, but I'm hoping here on the Pro V3s, we definitely see a huge improvement there for this bell really maintaining a stick and adhesiveness there to provide this this bell ring here from slipping. We also have hollow uh, shafts there as you can see. You can see all the way through. You can see my finger through that little hole there. So that's actually a really good thing there because it does of course bump up the durability for any broken shafts there. And then if we come here, we look at the windings here. Of course you see that nice uh, color there. That's due to the fact that enamel coating there that uh, bumps up the resistance for heat uh, to about 30% and that is for both the F60 and the F40 Pro V3s. As we can see as well, they both use multi-stranded uh, windings there. And then we can also see the EZO bearings there that are actually very, very smooth. I didn't have any problems with the Pro V2 version, so I'm not expecting any problems here with the new V3 versions there. And let's actually go ahead and put the screw back on there and see if it's very similar to the one on the Pro V2s where if we were tightening it up too much, it would not spin. And just for you guys' purposes, this is a 1.5 millimeter size screw for those people that are curious to know which size uh, Allen wrench they will use. So there we go. So that little washer there does provide you to torque it down all the way without having to worry about it spinning or not. So that's a pretty good addition there. And one last thing that they did uh, add to the F60s and F40 Pros is that the top end, they did increase it a little bit more. The top end thrust now for the F60 Pros is about 10% better and then for the F F40 Pro V3s is about 6% better than the previous Pro V2 F40s. And with that being said guys, that concludes the specs of the new F60s and F40 Pros V3s by T Motors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I missed anything, I'm going to go ahead and add some more info here on the screen for you guys for those people that either missed anything or I missed anything. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and of course end this video by saying don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe because like I said in the beginning of the video, me and Seth Hendo are going to be testing these out on our drag test. Uh, that way we could get some numbers and compare them to other motors that we have tested. Uh, but without much further ado guys, hope you guys enjoyed this flight footage coming up and peace out.